There are many, many volunteers who have contributed to the success of the Arthritis Foundation. But there's an elite group of volunteers that have really left a legacy, left a tremendous impact on the outcomes and the, where we are as an organization. They've left an indelible legacy. And I'd like to talk to you today about those legacies. Those who came before us, some great volunteers that I've just told you about and others, have brought us to where we are as an organization. And I think we should feel proud of what we've done. But today's our opportunity. And we have to decide what we're going to do, how we're going to change the landscape, what we're going to do about the future, because it's our time. So this reminds me of the Olympics, and not just because of Mike and Comcast. So when I think about the Olympics, I think about the torchbearer, the, the taking the torch from country to cross to its end point. And this last year, the, re, the torch relay covered 22,000 miles. But the, the really neat part about the story is that it represents brotherhood and the way working together, by working together, how much ground you can cover together. And we've done that. We've covered a lot of ground together. But at each point in that transition of the torch, there is a torch bearer. And right now, we are the torch bearers. We have the torch. And we have to really imagine how far we're going to take it. What are we going to do now that we have the torch? It's our watch, it's our time, and it's our chance to change the future. Now, progress isn't easy. As we take the torch, it's easy to think about Olympic athletes and say, well, it wasn't that bad. We don't think about the hardships that they had or the hardships of their family. But progress means overcoming obstacles. It means having challenges to overcome. Raising the bar is hard. All of you in the room know this. You've had to work hard. Sometimes it feels impossible. I was with the leadership board chairs this morning, and a lot of you talked about, you know, this sort of relentless, got to do it again this year. I've got to find new people. We know that raising the bar is hard. You've put years of time into this, and we appreciate that. But we have to be able to overcome those challenges, and we have to find our way forward. Because we have the chance and the opportunity to do something great, to change the fate, to continue to change the fate for people with arthritis. And today, we have to go back to thinking about the empty chair. We, I know there are obstacles, but we must passionately commit to making a difference, to do what seems impossible, as those before us have done, to honor that tradition. Because you have the torch. What will you do with it? How far will you take it? I'm asking you to leave Denver and take that torch home with more passion and more resolve than ever before, because if we believe it, we can achieve it. Thank you very much.